It's Mr. Relax bringing you guys a double gameplay. Me running my tight flex scheme, my new scheme I just dropped. Link is in the description below of this video. And running my nickel over scheme defense. That description is in the link below as well. Let's get into the game, guys. First games, we are playing them Kansas City Chiefs on the road to the Super Bowl. And then the next game will be them Baltimore Ravens on the way home after Lamar Jackson stunk it up again two times in the playoffs. But as, I, as you see, we are running our nickel over scheme, trying to destroy this guy. My defense has greatly improved after I did a few different changes, how I use her, and it has just became so dominant for the games that I've played. You can really tell the difference in these games, you know? Of course, we still make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes, but in the red zone, you must clamp down and smack them in their face. And eventually, they will score on some bull crap like that right there. What a great play, guy. And he goes for two points, but he doesn't get it. Now we are running this ah! tight off of this tight flex scheme. Two great passing plays, two mediocre run plays. But we give the ball back right back to him there, and he has the ball back. So we are in a really bad situation. And he's picking up yards with Pacheco. We're hoping we can get him down here in this red zone and stop him and let me reach back and snatch that with Jalen Johnson. So we are back on track. Now, let's just calm down a little bit. Get smacked in the face. You saw him. I saw him. He was open. We tried again. This guy's calling man defense. If I know you call calling man defense, I will overthrow open receivers every time. But this time we get it together and we hit Herbert out of the backfield, pick up a lot of yards. I noticed this guy's using, but he's just running around like he's crazy. He doesn't know what to do. And we get him with that easy route that beats man or zone to go up 7-6. And he comes back just throwing dots. And he almost fumbled there. But I noticed that playing this guy, that his offense isn't that good. His defense is not good at all. But these are the games that I usually lose because I underestimate my opponent. But as long as we can keep our defense going, keep our offense going, constantly score points, this guy is throwing dots nothing we can do he goes for a two-point conversion and gets it to go up seven points then he comes out on an onside kick come on man one of these guys one of these guys so we are already down by seven points and I noticed that this guy is leaving this route open you have to use that route Man or zone defense will not stop it. And he's learning that the hard way. Getting a little block shed from Montez Sweat. And the defense is starting to feel it. Our defense is starting to feel it. Let me reach back and snatch that. Mr. Snatchy makes an appearance. So, again, just running the scheme, man. Running that PA post shot. It's a really good scheme. Hitting them with that draw. Again, the scheme is in the description of this video below, guys. Go check it out. Look at Justin Fields running for his life. Don't you take no sack, man. Hit him with that draw again. Mama I scored a touchdown. Where's my go-go girls? We are up seven points on this man. And right there, the users were there. I just didn't read it the way I was supposed to. It would have been another pick. And this guy, the defense is starting to go. The defense is starting to go. We are sending heat, getting sacks. And this guy's calling a play where nobody goes upfield. So I don't know what he was thinking there. But of course, that's before half. He goes for onside kick, and he actually almost gets it back. But we get the ball back. And we're going down here. Again, you have to use her. That. Right, my guy. You will get destroyed every 
time if you don't use her. So again, we go up another touchdown on this guy, and he throws a pick, and he has had enough. On to the next game, guys. See ya. Sayonara. Good. Bye. As you can see, the second game, we are playing those Baltimore Ravens. Mr. Lamar Jack, real good MVP during the season and the playoffs. Not so much. He turns into Rex Grossman or Dak Prescott. But the guy I'm playing here, interesting story. Side note, this guy was watching training day. Watch that route. Whenever he has those triple receivers on the right, he goes to that middle receiver. Now, key on that, because I do, and we reach back and snap stop. Don't do the same plays over and over again. Have secondary reads. But anyway, back to this guy was watching Training Day. A really good movie, man. The only reason I'm bringing this up, because it's playing this game, I had to cut the mic off, because... He was talking about training day as he's playing, and I hear training day in the background. It's pretty funny, but just thought I'd mention that because a unique game, unique situation, but this guy was actually pretty decent. He was throwing dots. He was making me throw a lot of overthrows by sending pressure, and Justin Fields was just having a hard time. But we reached back and snatched that after we had just gave the ball back. And for some reason, man, my guy gets tired. Maybe he hit me with that fatigue glitch. I don't know. But as I talk right now, I speak about these overthrows and just throwing the ball out of, like, I don't know what was going on with Justin. But, of course, we're running that scheme, that tight flex scheme. And look at this. Look at this. He should have intercepted that. I don't know why I floated that. It should have been a bullet pass. But eventually, we are going to get down here. I hit him with the zig route, pick up a lot of good yards. Going down here, 0-0, zero, zero, I just want to get into field goal range. And right here, we test those legs. Justin, run, brother, run. Getting down here right into the end zone. Uh, it's hard to run these plays in the end zone. So you have those drag routes that are going to be open. But we just go to a nice little run. I put the scheme out on how to score on the goal line. And we score with Foreman to go up 7-0 on this guy. Now, he's coming back out. And right here, he's throwing into double coverage. Maybe he saw something what I didn't see. But that didn't look like that was open. But again, he loves this middle receiver. Whenever he has the trips, he gets the middle receiver. I keyed in on it the first time. But this time, he gets me over the top. We are getting some nice block sheds, smacking them in his face. Eventually, we do start sending a blitz. But this guy right here, he's kind of in a bad situation. Um, eventually gets the first down. And like I said, he's in a bad situation again. Goes for it on fourth down and picks it up. Man, don't you hate when you do real good defense? Trying to run a scheme, smack him in the face. You real do you do. Man, I can't talk. You do real good defense, and then the guy just still gets the first down or a touchdown. So anyway, we have good red zone defense. We can smack him in his face, and we do. We get the ball back. Matt and Goss are in our favor, but he's sending pressure. He's sending heat. He's getting some nice block sheds, and Justin is overthrowing again. I don't know why. I'm like, okay. But then this dot right here on the run. So I don't understand, Matt. And tell me, what am I supposed to do? I overthrow when I'm standing still. I throw dots when I'm running. Or maybe it's just Justin Fields. Whatever. So anyway, look at this right here. That's just off the clock. Just let's run anything. So we're getting down here. And I want to score. I noticed that he's calling the same defense. I'm overthrowing again. Don't know why that wasn't a catch. He's calling the same defense, and if we just are patient, we can get down here. Now it's before half. I have no timeouts. I go for a QB sneak, and I fumble the ball. So that was messed up. Bad clock management on me. He comes out in an onside kick, and we're going down here. I need to definitely score another point on this guy. I stopped running my tight flex scheme and I just started running on him because I did not trust Justin with the passes he was doing 
and I didn't want to get this guy to get a chance to score and tie the game up. So I just started running a lot of my old run plays that I know are guaranteed to work. And Khalil Herbert is a beast. Mama scored a touchdown. Where's my go-go dances? So we go up 14-0 on this guy. And this fight right here to Andrews. You know Andrews is fast. But is he really that fast? That got me. That I was shook. Come on, man. That's a tight end. I got a safety out there covering him. He's not that fast. It's not like we're playing a guy from Atlanta or something like that. Or Darren Waller. Anyway, but this guy's down here. He eventually scores after throwing that dot to Andrews. Goes for two. We smack him in his face. So we get the ball back. And we're up on this guy. And I, like I said, I'm just going to run. Once I score again, I'll start running my scheme again. But right now, he cannot stop my runs. So, of course, we're going to have fun. If you can't stop it, I'm going to rock it. His user is all over the place, and we are beasting with Herbert. Just picking up yards after yards, getting down here, uh, calling different run plays so the defense doesn't detect and they don't start playing the run if I call the same one over and over again. And once we go up on this guy with a field goal or a touchdown, if I do get the ball back, I will go back to my scheme. And right here, Khalil Herbert is a beast, and he cannot be stopped. So we get the ball back, and look at this. Look at this. Why do the animation if you're not going to pick the ball off? And he scores a touchdown. But, of course, he goes for two, and we do smack that away. If he would have caught that off of that deflection, I would have raged. I would have raged. Goes for an onside kick. We get it back. And of course, now we're up. I'm going to go and start running my scheme again. He's actually stopping my run. So we run a few times and then he does stop it. So back to the scheme, man. You know, just like I said, that route, you have to use it, man. You have to use it. And this guy is completely stopping every run I do now. So we eventually don't overthrow and get it to Khalil Herbert. And this guy says, you know what? That's enough. Thanks for watching, guys. If you guys want to see this scheme and how to run it, definitely check the video out in the description of this video below. I'll also throw it in the comment section for you guys. Well, check it out. Learn to run the scheme. Dominate. And remember, relax.